I am Santosh Gadalkar. Today I am teaching you dynamic submission. In the dynamic submission, I am focusing on the static equilibrium problems. This is the problem, the argument. OA and the angle is the argument here. The angle is 60 degree. We will consider the scale. Scale. 1 centimeter is equal to 100 mm. Now, first I will draw a line, just horizontal line. Now, this is, I will consider as a O, 60 degree. is nothing but 2.5 2 2.5 60 degree OA is nothing but 250 mm that is 2.5 250 divided by 100 is nothing but 2.5 centimeter we will get answer next Next, they are given 50 mm from this ground length, 50 mm height. This is 50. Just draw a parallel line. The height is 50 here. 50 mm. Next, A to B is nothing but 60, 650 mm. 650 divided by 100 is nothing but 6.5 centimeter. 6.5 centimeter. Now, with the help of compass, 6.5 centimeter. join this is B this is piston here ok I will draw later here next 30 the angle they have in 30 degree no, 30 degree from this part 30 degree is the angle this is 30 30 Next, 35 this side, 35, 35, now this angle is 35 and this will be 30 and this will be 650 mm, that is 6.5 centimeter. Next, the angle is given 30 degree here. Just move parallel to this line. In this way, you have to move it and draw a line. Now, angle should be what? 30 degree. From this side, it should be 30 degree. 30. This is the force act. F is equal to 500 Newton. 30 degree. This is the main diagram we have completed. Now go for naming. One link is a piston. This is a piston. Consider as a one link. Next, second link, third link, and piston as a fourth link. Go for forces F1, 2, F2, 3, F3, 4, and piston will be F1, 4. Next, I will draw the free body diagram. First, I will draw this part. 2.5 cm, I will draw it. 2.5 cm, I will draw. 2.5 cm. 
but still we don't know the forces where it acts because it is a fixed plate it is a, not a line it is a fixed plate therefore we don't know where the forces are acting here next i will consider this part here I will consider this part as it is first i will consider 6 cm 6.5 cm Six point five centimeter. Six point five. Next, thirty five. Thirty degree. This force now directly I will write this part here 30. This line I am drawing here. The force which is acting here for the point C is the point C 30. Okay, this is 35. If you measure this, will be 35. This will be 30. As this is a piston, therefore, because it is a piston, therefore line moves perpendicular to this line. Consider a perpendicular line, exactly draw right, perpendicular line. Because it is a piston, therefore line moves perpendicular. Actually, this line join this part. This link will be what F23 and name of this link will be what F14. This is nothing but force F is equal to 500 Newton. Now based on this one, you can draw the force polygon. Now I will consider the scale. Scale 1 centimeter equal to 100 and then 100 Newton. First, I will draw the 100 Newton for this one. 100 Newton is nothing but 5 centimeter. I will draw it. 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter I will draw it. 5 cm will draw five centimeter as the arrow indicate here. So we'll draw the arrow here. And next I will draw this line. Either you can draw here or here, no problem. And then you will get the same answer. Next, parallel to this one, draw a line. If the arrow is here, the next arrow will be here, and the next arrow will be here. This force is nothing but F23, and this is F. 1 4. This is F is equal to 500 Newton. Now we have to find out this F 1 3. How to find out F 1 3? Calculate the value. It will be around 4.6. 4.6 into scale 100 Newton. The answer will be. 460 Newton. Once you know the arrow of the direction, this direction, you can implement over this part. Again, I will consider this part again here. Or if you direct it, goes shift here. Once you know the direction here, next parallel to here, draw the line. Draw in this way. Next parallel to here, you draw a line. If the direction of arrow in this direction, the next arrow will be in this direction that is F32 and this will be F12 and the H will be this part. It is a H. H is nothing but 1.4. 1.4. 
now it is rotating anti clockwise the torque is required in clockwise formula for torque t is equal to f32 into h into scale what is 32 32 is nothing but f23 is equal to f32 460 into h is 1.6 1.4 into scale is nothing but 100 if you measure it the answer will be 64400 newton mm you have to convert into uh, newton meter divided by 1000 the answer will be 64.4 newton meter clockwise i am santosh vedankar thank you very much